So let's now start to set up the Cloudinary on the server side because you have to start that on the server side and not in the front side actually. So actually you, you, you have a choice of course, but this is for me actually the best way. So we have a cloudinary.js file where we will just like set up the cloudinary files that we need. And this is very easy actually, don't worry. And the other thing is that we need these environment variables. So let's see how I got these environment variables. When you go here, you will find your cloudinary. Of course, you will set up like or sign up like any other platform and the sign up will be very easy, except that you have to choose one of two and you will choose the API method or the API account because the API one is for the developers. You will have your cloud name, your API key, your API secret. And these are the three pieces of information that you need to set up or configure the cloudinary. Let's see how we can configure, which is the first step. You have to configure it to be able to work with it. If you press here on the getting started, you, you will find that everything is actually written for you and arrange it in the way that you will use it. So you have the first thing is to configure your SDK, which is the Cloudinary account or the Cloudinary API that you will work with. And you have here to the way to upload assets and here how you can do some transformations on the assets that you send from the CDN back to the client side. I mean, you do not have every time to send uh, something like a four megabyte picture just to put an avatar of 40 pixels uh, height and height and width on the uh, on the front end uh, web page. You don't have to do that. So the transformation will help you to just send back the and resize a clip and uh, and compress the image that is coming to you with the width and height. For example, you need and a lot of other features actually of transformations. But this will help you a lot because the the sent photo maybe just like turns from four megabytes to something that is just like 400 bytes. Can you can you imagine that? Yes, I have images with that size coming from the server side or from the CDN because I have just like made some transformations. So transformations is a very powerful tool by Cloudinary. Now let's see how to start configuration. And this is very easy. I'm using Node.js. So I will install Cloudinary and I have already installed Cloudinary. And all I have to put is are these, the Cloudinary configuring uh let's copy them but remember that if you put that only nothing will work so you will have to come here and uh, go to the node.js and you will find that you have to set up cloudinary with this so let me show you how because sometimes it's not that clear let's copy this one first we will go to the cloudinary file we made that's in the server side let's close the front end and let's put that here and actually like that and at first of course the first thing we will require cloudinary but make sure when you require cloudinary to put it like this so i'll take this sorry not this just this one come here i'll put it here so now i have a cloudinary required and uh, i need now to configure and set up the cloudinary so let's do that uh let's go to the configuration again and do that so this cloudinary is the one that we required here and now these are the configurations and this is all what we need to configure Cloudinary. Now we can use it if we we will remove this because this is just like for the upload and this is the third part of our work. We don't need it now. So all I will say here is to module dot export will equal Cloudinary. Now you can use Cloudinary as a module in all the parts of your server. So we will go to the index and the server and we will put that here. Also make sure that you have required .env because this will be very important. And let's see here, cloudinary will equal require. And we will now not require it from the 
um, from the MBM packages, you will require it just from the file we have made for it from Cloudinary and sorry, I guess I should make it like this. Yeah, we have a Cloudinary file and the Cloudinary.js. So we, need, we now have the Cloudinary that we have already set up and configured. Make sure that you have the .env required at the top of your uh, server because this will enable you to use the environment variables. And let's go here. As you see, I have the Cloudinary and everything is put for me, but I do not prefer this way because you know that these are pos these are environment should be environment variables because these are very secretive. No one you want you, you don't want anyone to reach your Cloudinary upload uh, files. So you need to make these secrets in with the process dot environment names of them. And how to do that? You will just like conf configure or require dot env at the top of your page two like that. Now you can use the uh, env variables. So for this one, well, I have them here. So, so as you see, I put the cloudinary process dot env uh, names from the end file and I put them here just like to encrypt the data of my Cloudinary database and that's of course more secure. Now that's all what we need here in the Cloudinary file and it's ready now to receive and upload uh, things to the server by the front end. Let's now see what is the next step.